Thursday morning. Very, very, very cold Thursday morning. It got down to 21 last night. It was freaking cold. So I had to run my heater a lot more than I was hoping I'd have to. So now I've, it is down on the yellow now in the propane tank. So I don't know how much heat I'm going to have tonight because it's supposed to get down to 24 tonight. Last night it was, like I say, it got down to 21. And, oh man, I was freezing. I'm freezing right now. My hands are like ice. Especially after being outside and taking taking copper for a walk, letting him go sniff everything and do his number one and number two. And um, I'm planning on going for a walk out on that jetty thing, but uh, it's going to have to warm up a little bit. I don't know how warm it's supposed to be today, actually. One report says 55, another one says 58, another one says 61. Uh, the one thing I do know is that it's too cold for me here. <laughs> as much as I like this campground, I do not like freezing. So we're going to be leaving in the morning or whenever I get everything loaded up. It, pro it probably is not going to be morning. It's going to be probably afternoon. Then after a four-hour drive to Lake Havasu City, like I said, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna try to set up a motel because there's just there's just no way. By the time I get out of here, it's gonna be if I get out of here by noon, just knowing how long it's taken me to do stuff like from the last campground and stuff, hopefully it won't take me as long this time. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to, the thing is, I can't pack it. I'm going to have to unload the back because I've got to be able to fit the tent in there. So I've got to unload everything, get the tent loaded up, and then reload everything. So however long that takes, um... I don't think it should take as long because I don't have as much stuff dr dragged out as I did when we were up in Huntington. I learned my lesson there. I had way too much stuff that I drug out, which is probably why I forgot a few things because I still have not been able to find my fuel or my windscreens or, or anything. So anyway, by the time we get out of here, get down there, you know, and then try to find a place to camp because it's, you know, some of the places might fill up because there are a lot of people camping down there. It's not going to be as easy down there to find a place to camp as, there, as it has been so far. You know, especially when we were up in Huntington and had the whole campground to ourselves. You know, and here, we got here early enough before it started filling up. Because it's it's not full, it's far from full here, but there's a lot more people here than there was when we first got here. We got neighbors on both sides of us now, and and uh, so we kind of lucked out finding this place. Uh, wouldn't have been available, I think, if we'd have waited much longer, because everybody's looking for the camping spots that they can have to themselves. There are a couple of the the double campgrounds. There's like one, at least one person camping in them, in a couple of them. And there wasn't any at all yesterday, or when, or day before, or whenever it was. So, you know, because this is a nice place to camp. I mean, if we were in an RV with heat, you know, or if I'd have filled my propane tanks, because honestly, what the re I didn't fill them in Payette, which I. I could have, but it's like, you know, I was trying to conserve my money and, and, um, I didn't figure that we would need them because we're going to be down to Lake Havasu. I figured, you know, 
and uh, I wasn't anticipating it costing so much for gas. You know, it was what I had figured. It's probably almost going to be double because I'm just, you know, with the, with the load and then like like as they fighting the crosswinds and the headwinds and all that coming down, it just sucked up the gas something fierce. You know, so it didn't leave me with enough gas to get all the way to Lake Havasu City, so we were kind of forced to stay here. Although I, I, I'm not unhappy with that, you know, I, I'm really glad that we got to spend some time here because it is really nice. But the cold is, it wasn't that cold, you know, the first couple of nights here. But like last night, it was like, you know what, I wish we were leaving today <laughs> because it's going to be another cold night tonight. And I don't think I'm going to have any heat or very little. So... There's no fun freezing. So, anyway, keep saying that. We're going to get out of here as early as we can tomorrow. Drive down to Lake Havasu City. And I also need to stop at Walmart and get some stuff. Although, I may not do that until the next morning. So, I may wait and do that Saturday. Because we've got food you know, and stuff like that, and water, and so, you know, we're good as far as that goes, and if we're staying at a motel Friday night, or tomorrow, not tomorrow night, tomorrow's Friday, um, probably just stop, like, at Burger King, or, or whatever I can find close to the motel that we're staying at, and eat something there, we're not going to be doing any cooking, so, wait and then go to Walmart actually what I like to do is goes pretty much going to be forced to do is go find a campsite first get set up you know to make some room for stuff I get at Walmart and one thing I really I have it, it's got to change is I've just got stuff strewn it's it's impossible to try to there's just not enough room you know, to organize things how I'd like to. And so I'm having to constantly move stuff and look for stuff. And ugh, it's just a pain in the butt. So what I think I'm going to do on Saturday is I'm going to, when I go to Walmart, you know, those like those shelf, you know, those little shelf organizers or the, it's like the stackable bins or whatever, or you got one that's got like three or four, you know, compartments to it, one of those Rubbermaid or, or the, you know, Walmart brand or whatever it is, organizer, plastic organizer things. I have got to have something like that so I could organize my stuff. But the only thing is I cannot fit it in the Explorer until I have, have some room. And so I'm going to try to, tomorrow morning when I get up, as soon as my, I'm assuming I'm getting paid tomorrow. I better be, because I do not. But if I don't, I'll just tough out the cold, I guess. But because um, normally I get paid on the third, and usually when it lands on a weekend, I get paid on that Friday before. So I am assuming I'm getting paid tomorrow. Well, I guess I'll find out in the morning usually shows up about five o'clock in the morning in my bank account. So if I do get paid, then I'm going to go ahead and set up a motel. I'm going to try to, I think I can pay online for storage space and um, get that set up because I have got to, I've got to have a storage so I don't have as much stuff to have to deal with. And I can just, and, and the thing is, if I'm camping in Lake Havasu area, I can just go to my storage unit, get the stuff that I need for that two weeks that I'm staying at a certain place. And then, you know, if I, if there's something else I need, I can always run back to it and get it. But that will, you know, that will alleviate a lot of problems and having to unload 50 things to try to get the one. It's just, it's just not workable the way it is right now, you know. I mean, if I was just going camping and I just had camping gear in there, that'd be one thing. But where I've got basically everything that I own, 
were, or at least that I could fit in the Explorer that I owned, you know, that just really makes it, it really makes it tough because I've just got so much stuff in there. It's like, I've got to move, you know, I've just got to get everything organized and it's almost impossible to do that the way it is right now. So once I get a storage space and get me one of those organizers, you know, that I can I put stuff in storage and I can go and I can get one of those organizers at Walmart and have that in here standing up to where I can put like, you know, my computer stuff in one, my cooking stuff in one, you know, it's just whatever it, it it is fuel in one or whatever and get it and get it organized that will make life so much easier and um i think probably well i don't know what i'm going to do because if i i don't know if there's a storage space up at my property you know, but if I'm up on my property, I can do a little bit differently than I am at campgrounds. But um, it's still too cold to go to my property. It's because I'm looking at it. It's still some nights in the teens, you know, 17, 19. That's too cold. I mean, it was 21, like I say, 21 here last night, and I am freezing to death. I mean, it was just miserable. And I did turn the heater on for a little bit, but I knew I couldn't run it super long. I woke up, I don't know what time it was during the night, and turned it on for a little bit, got it warmed up in here, and turned it off, went back to sleep. Woke up again, I had to, <coughs> I had to <coughs> run it, my nose is running a mile a minute. I had to turn it back on for a little bit just to make it bearable in here. It was just, it was so freaking cold. And it's not going to be that much warmer tonight, you know, not a whole lot of difference between 24 and 21. So, in, in the weather report, first of all, it said it was supposed to be like 39 tonight. Well, it keeps changing. You know, now it's saying 24. You know, it was supposed to be like 33 last night, 39 tonight. Instead, it was 21 last night and 24 tonight. So, and then it's supposed to be nasty on Saturday. So, you know, I'm really hoping I get paid tomorrow because otherwise it's going to suck. I don't want snow. And it's supposed to snow here on Saturday. Well, f first it says snow, then it says rain, then it says rain-snow mix, then it says rain, then it says snow. It just keeps changing. You know, I tell you what, the National Weather Service or the, whatever service is showing the weather needs to change their algorithms. Because they haven't been very damn accurate, I'll tell you that. But, like I say, it's supposed to be anywhere from 55 to 61 today, depending on which weather report you look at. So, And I do plan on today, I'm going to go out, take copper for a walk. We're going to go to the day use area and go walking out on that jetty thing. Which looks, I, I don't want to leave here and not do that. <laughs> just, that just looks too cool. But... Um, the copper, he was just going crazy this morning. We we're out there, and I've got him on the leash. And he's just, that tail is just going 100 miles an hour. He's just so happy, and he's going around. And took, we went all over the place around here, letting him sniff stuff, and he was just having a ball. You know, he was he was just so happy and jumping around and tail going and, you know. But my hands just about got frozen out there. And finally, it's like, all right, we need to go back in the tent. And I turned the heater on for like maybe five minutes just to warm my hands up because their hands were just freezing. They're still, they're still kind of cold, but hopefully it'll start warming up. I don't know what it is right now. Last time I looked, it was 37. Let me see real quick here. Phone wants to fall off my leg here. Ah, no, 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 no. All right, it's saying it's 42 now. But, yeah, 
42. So at least it's warming up a little bit, you know, once it gets to where it's halfway warm outside where my hands aren't freezing, you know, then we'll go for, go walkies and go out on the pier and stuff like that. But like right now, it's just, I'm still just, I feel better than I did a little bit ago. You know, it's warming up a little bit to where I'm not quite as miserable, but you know, that's enough of this cold crap. I'm getting down to Lake Havasu. Let's see what Yeah, okay, tomorrow is supposed to be this is in Lake Havasu City. Seventy five tomorrow with a low of fifty five. And then Saturday, 71 and 51, 71 and 51 on Sunday. And then it drops down 68 and 50, 71 and 48, 71 and 51. But, you know, a situation like that, I'm not really going to need any heat, you know. So, but I'm sure there's a place down there that if I wanted to, I could fill up one of my propane tanks if I so, so chose to do so. Oh, I'm telling you. Ah, man, and I got a big old bump on the back of my, I think I got mosquito bite. Got a big old bump back there. It's itching. Right on the back of my neck right here. So I must have got nailed. Because I know there were some been some mosquitoes. Not a, not a bunch, but there's been a few landed on me, even in here. You know, so... But we're right by the water, too, so go figure. <laughs> For being right by, I bet in the summer, they're they're just nasty. I'll bet you you'd need bug spray galore down here in the summer. You know, being right by, the, you know, camping right by the water. I probably wouldn't camp right by the water in the summer because I wouldn't want to deal with all the bugs. All, them, all the skeet, the mozzies. Is the Aussies call them the mo the mosquitoes the mozzies? <laughs> Don't want to deal with the mozzies. So anyway, um, like I say, I will be taking some more footage later, and and uh, hopefully that'll be enjoyable for y'all. But for now, I've already had my breakfast. Copper's had his breakfast. And I've already had my two mugs of coffee. So I'm just going to kind of kick back for a little bit, let it warm up. And then uh, we'll go do some exploring. So we'll talk to you then. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Camping with Copper. Hey, that's me. Ha <laughs> ha.